Broncos. Oh, okay. Okay. What's uh, why is Coco's pumping? Can someone tell me? Okay. Oh my goodness. And continuing to pump. This is a fade, probably. Close to two. Tag two and reject. Well, we just blew right past two. Uh, might, might look to get involved, though. I fucking... I uh, wish there was something more to play off, though. Okay. So, looking for something like this. I just really feel like we get another run up, but... We'll try something. We'll try something, because we like to be, uh... Left curve on this stream. Okay. We actually got, uh... Getting some cell pressure now. Bullish rebranding. Yeah, I actually forgot that. But I don't get that. Why was that down here? That was like, uh... A day ago. I'm not sure was that the cause of the pump. Is here. So this is the short BT dubs. Small in position, but hopefully we caught something. Okay, up about one or in this. I'm probably gonna be a massive coward and put my stop to break even or just close if it starts coming back towards entry. People are saying this is a news this is a news pump. I've yet to see evidence that this is pumping because of that news. This is just a nice trade, you know? And this fucking left curve, man, it's so left curve. Like, look, what was my thesis here? Uh, and like, please feel free to roast this because it's so fucking dumb. My thesis was wait for the blue candles to stop and the red candles to start, man, and it's fucking retarded. And I would have accounted for maybe, I would have tried this, I would have tried this exact short, you know, once or twice. Sorry, twi two or three times. Like, it's... <laughs> this... It's left curve, man. But if we get a high time frame liquidity sweep, we start showing signs of exhaustion. And if it's a pump that you think can be faded. Right? Then why the fuck not? Because the Auror, if you actually catch, if you catch the top, the Auror is massive. <laughs> this is a little bit different. This like straight up, that's a little bit more fadable to me. Um, that said, I might close Cocos pretty soon because I would like to see it drop. I would like to see it drop pretty quickly and I'm not really getting that. Uh, let's put on... Yeah, Cocos is printing. We love to see it. Oh, we might have caught the fucking top here. It would be nice. I'm, I might actually look to scale out of this though, or sorry, when I say scale out, I mean <laughs> close in one go. Because we're kind of at OTE for this move up now. This is typically where I like to get out. Uh, we're right around this breaker. Let's have a quick look on trading view. See, this is the thing, right? Well, I would love to go for this, for these lows. This is just kind of where I like to close out on these trades. If BTC do goes here, like if BTC drops a few more hundred dollars, this thing retraces the whole pump and, and more, I would say. Just don't feel like being greedy though at the same time. We're already up like, like two and a half or minimum. 400, $400 dues. 
Uh, this kind of starts looking like it might be catching a bid here. Um, and I did say I wanted to close it at the bottom of that move. Retro. You're out of the shorts. Yeah, I mean, we'll wait. I mean, if it's going to reverse, it's going to be here, right? BTC just tagged that imbalance slash order block. If this, if this is the top, you would expect some downside here. So I don't mind uh, holding it open. Still okay for my bearish bias here. You think this goes to 32k? I mean, I kind of think so as well. BTC looks strong. Uh, Coco's doesn't. But BTC is going to drag everything up. Old fucking corn. Curve looks interesting. My waiting Coco short. Uh, we're waiting for TP. Speaking of which. Cocos looks like shit, but the thing is, if BTC continues to chat up, it's gonna drag all these weak alts with it. Okay, some cells going through on BTC now. Like the first bit of cell action we've had in like 20 minutes. Wow, strong sell off here. Alt's kind of resilient here though. BTC dropped a lot just there. This is a uh, little bit stronger than I wanted. Tomo holding, yeah, yeah. Alts are weirdly strong here, funnily enough. I mean, I'd like to go for these lows, but I just don't. Uh, like to go for those lows. Some big players closing shorts here. I am going to TP Cocos. Boom. TP Cocos. That was nice. It was like a 400 and something dollar gain. I'm happy to close out here. This is OTE for the move up, and it's also uh, it's also below the breaker I'd identified. So yeah, this could go much lower. Ideally, I would love to go for those lows, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to reduce my short risk profile here. Um, also conscious that I'm streaming and it's quite hard to pay attention to two trades at once. I'm gonna jump back into tomorrow in, in a second. But yeah, I mean, in, in, in an ideal world, I would go for these lows here. Um, but I just, yeah, for me, this is good enough. Like I caught the top pretty well. This is OT for the move down. It's also where this breaker is, this breaker. Ah, uh, I mean, yeah, it can go lower, but I'm